This morning we turn in Holy Scripture to Judges chapter 2. Judges chapter 2. And an angel of the Lord came up from Gilgal to Bochim and said, I made you to go up out of Egypt and have brought you unto the land which I swear unto your fathers. And I said, I will never break my covenant with you, and ye shall make no league with the inhabitants of this land. Ye shall throw down their altars. But ye have not obeyed my voice. Why have ye done this? Wherefore I also said, I will not drive them out from before you, but they shall be as thorns in your sides, and their God shall be a snare unto you. And it came to pass, when the angel of the Lord spake these words unto all the children of Israel, that the people lifted up their voice and wept. And they called the name of that place Bochim, and they sacrificed there unto the Lord. And when Joshua had let the people go, the children of Israel went every man unto his inheritance to possess the land. And the people served the Lord all the days of Joshua and all the days of the elders that outlived Joshua, who had seen all the great works of the Lord that he did for Israel. And Joshua the son of Nun, the servant of the Lord, died, being an hundred and ten years old. And they buried him in the border of his inheritance in timnath Harris, in the Mount of Ephraim, on the north side of the hill Gaash. And also all that generation were gathered unto their fathers. And there arose another generation after them which knew not the Lord, nor yet the works which he had done for Israel. And the children of Israel did evil in the sight of the Lord and served Balaam. And they forsook the Lord God of their fathers, which brought them out of the land of Egypt, and followed other gods of the gods of the people that were round about them, and bowed themselves unto them, and provoked the Lord to anger. And they forsook the Lord and served Baal and Ashtaroth. And the anger of the Lord was hot against Israel, and he delivered them into the hands of spoilers that spoiled them, and he sold them into the hands of their enemies round about, so that they could not any longer stand before their enemies. Whithersoever they went out, the hand of the Lord was against them for evil, as the Lord had said, and as the Lord had sworn unto them, and they were greatly distressed. We'll stop our reading there this morning. The text to which I call your attention is Judges 2, verse 10. And also all that generation were gathered unto their fathers, and there arose another generation after them which knew not the Lord, nor yet the works that he had done for Israel. Beloved in the Lord Jesus Christ, Scripture in the history before us instructs us, as it does many times by many examples in Scripture. According to 1 Corinthians 10, these passages are recorded for our examples and written for our admonition. The setting of this history is recorded especially in verses 7 through 10 of Judges 2, where we are told two things. In the first place, we are told that the children of Israel served the Lord all the days of Joshua and all the days of the elders who outlived Joshua, which elders had seen personally all the great works that Jehovah had done for Israel. Now, you understand, of course, the reference there is not to all the children of Israel individually. 
as having walked in obedience serving the Lord. The book of Joshua informs us, for example, of Achan, who perished with his whole family because of his disobedience. But organically considered, Israel as a whole served Jehovah walking in obedience to his word. They did so under the good leadership of Joshua as well as those elders who outlived Joshua. But then, in the second place, we are informed in verses 8 through the first part of verse 10 that Joshua died, as did all those elders who had outlived Joshua. All that generation passed away. Nothing shocking about that, of course. We have here the simple record of the normal course of events. We grow up, we age, and we depart this world for heaven. So at the ripe old age of 110 years, Joshua died and was buried in the land of his inheritance, the land of Ephraim. Likewise, those elders, those wise elders who had served with him for many years, were also taken to glory through death. That was the simple fact of history. It is what follows this historical account, however, that demands our attention. For in the light of the context, it's rather shocking. Immediately after the record of the decease of Joshua and his elders, we read, And there arose another generation after them, which knew not the Lord, nor yet the works which he had done for Israel. And it is that statement which shows the reason, together with Israel's failure to drive out the enemy, why the nation fell into apostasy. And a horrible departure it was, as is evident throughout this book of Judges. Those two, the rise of a generation who knew not the Lord and the failure to drive out the enemy, stand inseparably related. As you will find if you go back and reread Judges 1, the failure to drive out the enemy came first. What you have, therefore, is the record of parents in Israel who failed to fight the battle of faith and who lost their spiritual strength. And when they lost their spiritual strength, the result was a loss of interest in training their children, teaching them those works of God which he had wrought faithfully in their midst during those years when they faithfully obeyed his commandments and walked in spiritual separation from the Canaanites. And with that loss of interest in training their children came failure to instruct them the result is recorded in the words of our text. There arose another generation after them which knew not the Lord, nor yet the works which he had 